Um, talking about the traveling and discussing your experience, you can probably use and you will need, let's say, two tenses that we can talk about right now. Uh, the actions in the past that already happened and they are completed, and the actions that have a visible result in the present. So these are grammar tenses called past simple and present perfect. Have you ever heard of them? Did you use these tenses when you last travel abroad? So, when you're telling the story about the past, all these actions are completed, you already did them, you know the exact time, and when you are talking about the last traveling to Turkey last year, all you need is the second form of the verb. Remember that there are two types of verbs in English, regular and irregular. With regular we put ED at the end of the sentence, while the irregular ones you need to look up in the special table of irregular verbs that you can find in any textbook or um, Google. <laughs> So, visible result here in the present, with using present perfect, will be I have had a sunburn. Look at my face, is red, I've got a sunburn. Um, the things that you have done so far means things that you have completed till the moment of speaking, till the moment of sharing it with another people. So, for example, if uh, we are in Tokyo right now, so this is my eighth time already. So, I have been to Turkey eight time already, meaning that I can visit it for ten times more, so it's not finished. But when you start counting, like the first time I was here in 1996, so you're giving the uh, particular date, the exact date, so this is the past. And when we were here the first time, we had a lot of fun and it was one of the first experiences ever, because only then people started going here. The next time we went in 1999, 2002, 2003, 2005, and so on. So when you're giving the particular date, this is the past action, so it's in the past. Last time I was in Italia, and it was last year. It was last September. Again, it's completed, and the door to the past is closed. So when you want it to be, a little past action but still related to the present, you use have has in the third form of the verb. I hope you remember that if it's regular, you still need to add ed to the end of the sentence, and if it's irregular, you need the third form, which is the third column in the table of irregular verbs. It's next to the second column. So, uh, for present perfect, there are some very practical words, like already, yet, just, since, for, lately, recently, questions how long, and this beautiful word so far. So I'm here right now in Turkey, so it's the present moment, and um, I have been here for three days already. Four three days, which means I'm still here and it's not over yet, I still have some more days to spend, and so far we have traveled three different islands, and we have eaten a lot of delicious food and fruit, we have swam many times in the sea, and we have learned a lot of useful skills in yachting and sailing. So, can you feel the difference here? Can you feel the difference in these two tenses? How can you use it in your stories? So, what is the task right now for you? 
go somewhere far deep into your memory, maybe last year that you can remember or your previous experience of your holidays. Where did you go? What did you do? What kind of emotions did you have? Who went with you, like your family, your friends? What did you like the best? And what did you like the least? The best is positive, the least is negative. And uh, just tell a story in the past. And you can also tell the story of you this year. So now it's June. So this is the middle of the year. In the time where you're watching this video, it can be any other month and you can still use the construction this year. It's not over yet. So you probably have done already a lot of things. You have completed a lot of tasks, but you still have the time to do more. So you need to answer those questions and compare them and to see whether you understand it or not. Do it. I'll be waiting.